Chris Burney's, this is my layout of Burn Ride Works. Um, the layout basically came from the idea that I wanted to have plenty of freight running. Uh, I'm not a big fan of um, typical layouts for stations and things like that. Um, I love freight trains and I love to make trains, so I wanted to showcase a lot of the own locos that I do. Um, obviously having a home layout, so I set this up at home, so I wanted to kind of keep it short and compact. So it's an 8 foot, um, 2 section boards of uh, 4 foot creating 8 foot. Um, I wanted to have a, a big steel works because I like steel freight uh, and the, the reason I made the building so large is to give it scale and I think it helps in such a small layout that it gives the layout such scale. So the features I'm, I'm particularly proud of um, would be the building itself, uh, I think it's quite impressive uh, in terms of how it was made, all, all from corrugated plastic card, the weathering on there is subtle but I think it makes it stand out. Uh, there's a scratch, semi scratch built kit from a Helgen crane on the front which I've taken from uh, an actual factory in Sheffield so that does actually exist. Um, the other features which I'm, I'm proud of on, on the layout would be um, the actual scenery itself and the weathering and making lots and lots of small cameos to keep the uh, public interested uh, at looking at your layout, um, particularly uh, highlighting the um, scenery, highlighting the figures, giving the concrete pads in the depot weathering, it all adds to the realism of, of the layout. Uh, having most of the lake locos with sound, um, I really do uh, feel that it, it, it brings the, the layout to life uh, in some respects. Sometimes in a, in a large show it's a bit hard um, to hear locos over other locos, especially if you've got layouts next to each other. But I do believe now, and especially with the younger generation, they like to hear the, the locos having sound. Definitely still fun to run at shows. I mean, we we decided not to do a roundy roundy, and we did obviously the Traversa fiddle yards. But I think as much as the layout, which I'm probably biased, I like, we get as much conversation about the traversing layout, uh, the fiddle yards. Uh, as you can see, um, unique design. My good friend over there, Neil, um, made the design. It gives us scope to run slightly longer trains on a shorter layout, but at least we're flipping them back round, we can send them back. Obviously with the steel works and the um, diesel depot, I've got some shunting manoeuvres as well to do to keep uh, other, other punters happy with regards to other operational functions. There is talk of us making it actually, <laughs> believe it or not, potentially a roundy roundy, um, of making another four foot board, an extension to the steel works possibly making a halt uh, of a platform for the uh, steel workers to get off and things like that. Um, I have got the baseboards made actually so this might be what happens in the future. So burn rides might become a roundy roundy and also be able to still do um, the traversing uh, fill yard option uh, depending on what shows want, whether they want the larger version of it or the shortened version of it. It's quite a decent length train for a little out there. I like it.